morning everyone, this is Chaitali Bag from Aviation and Defence Universe reporting live from Fandra Airshow 2022. Day 3 and my first interview starts with Mr. Chandrasekhar, Chairman and Managing Director, Sasmos Aerospace and Defence. We all know about this company in India. And Martin Kirkman, Managing Director, Westwire. Westwire has been acquired by Sasmos, so today we are here to talk about this beautiful collaboration. Welcome sirs and thank you so much for your time. So we begin our uh, first question with what Westwire has been doing till now and forward. Okay, so Westwire actually is a 35 year old company. Uh, it uh, has grown up over those years to be one of the UK's foremost aerospace and defense manufacturers for wire harnessing and uh, electrical box assemblies or for electromechanical assemblies. Uh, it has a great reputation. Uh, many customers uh, in the UK, uh, RBSL, uh, all the big players, BAE, um, uh, the, also uh, deals with um, the uh, defence uh, industry, and aerospace industry obviously, and uh, the uh, rail industry. So we supply parts into the rail industry as well. Obviously our focus here is for aerospace and uh, following the acquisition by Sasmus last September uh, it's now growing to uh, with, with, uh, like advancing and growing into the aerospace industry uh, more than we do the defense Great. Chandrasekhar sir, you are a veteran in this industry. So, though everybody in India knows about Sasmus, Sasmus uh, uh, collaborations with different uh, various Western companies, but still we want our audience to know more about what Sasmos is doing. Okay, uh, yeah, things. as you already said, uh, the yeah. Sasmos is a known company, uh, not only in India and also some parts of the world, but definitely with the uh, with our customers uh, for good reasons so far. And then, of course, uh, Sasmos is uh, is a company which is already having more than 800 uh, technicians working for this industry aerospace defense. We are proud that we are making uh, India as a hub for some of the opportunities like this for the global uh, requirements. And uh, we are exporting more than 95% of our, uh, our outputs uh, into the western part of the world. And then we are, uh, we are really happy to say that actually that we would like to continue to grow in giving uh, the best outputs, not only from India, also across the globe with respect to the associated way with uh, our own uh, current partners and future acquisitions and current acquisitions that we are doing. So, SASMOS want to be a, a, a company which is really ge uh, the, the geographically expanded into a, a global organization from an Indian origin and then making sure that actually it serves its customers from this closest proximity and then with the talents across the globe. Uh, available for this particular purpose and movement. This is our uh, what we are trying to put together as a company. That's great. We are here at uh, Farnbrayer show and yesterday we saw the collaboration between you two. So, from you sir first, let's talk about this collaboration. Uh, okay, Sasmos always, as I said just now, that actually we are, we are looking for the global footprint. And we believe that actually I think as a Sasmos as a company can grow when we go close to the customers and then also actually stay with the additional customers that our acquisitions can bring in and then create opportunities across the geographies to ensure that we, pick, we get the best of both the worlds. This is our mantra. So with that particular intention, we started our journey of looking out for beyond boundaries from India from almost four years back. And then uh, that's how, the, after two and a half years of continuous uh, search, then we could find Westwire as an opportunity for us. And then uh, Mr. Martin Kirkham is uh, is the person who really uh, uh, built on this particular dream to get this into a good level of uh, uh, association. And then finally it became a reality by acquiring it in last September. And then uh, today we are proud to say we have a global community where we have 35 people of UK nationals and 600 plus or 800 plus SASMOS employees are trying to work together to find solutions to customers in their own places. This is what we feel as we are proud and then our journey will continue with this and uh, yes, uh, we want to grow Westwire in its own space 
and then also beyond boundaries to by adding value and then creating the scalability between India and Westwire to make a best use to our customers by giving engineering solutions and then also making it as a, a, a good aerospace company in, in UK. This is our dream, yeah? Great. It, well, Chandrasekhar said, said about reaching closer to the customers. Yeah. I'm sure it's the same from West Wire as well. He told us about how you fo both found each other. But I would like to know more about the background of this collaboration. Okay. So, uh, as Chandra alluded to, uh, Sasmos had a vision of uh, becoming a global company. Uh, it became fairly clear that as a first step uh, that uh, the European market was something that Sasmos wanted to explore, wanted to explore further. So, um, as, uh, as alluded, we looked around for a company uh, that was uh, a viable company with a very complementary customer base to that of Sassamons in India. Uh, Westwire, uh, as, as alluded, after a couple of years of search, was the, uh, the right company for that. It has a very broad spectrum of, uh, of customers, as I said before, in the aerospace, defence and the rail sectors. So that, um, not only the customer base, but also uh, complementary capabilities as well. Uh, the ability to assemble wire harnesses, uh, the electromechanical products, the, um, although a lot smaller than Sasmos, the skill set that was available inside Westwire uh, was very complementary and it became the obvious choice to associate the two companies together, uh, obviously acquire Westwire together with all those skill sets uh, to be able to uh, take that foothold in the European market to be able to grow the company both from a Sussman's perspective and using Westwire as a local uh, customer base that would be able to grow the company uh, with those uh, uh, current customers and expanded customers beyond, uh, beyond the company. Right, so when we talk about the expansion now from both of you, what exactly are you looking forward to right now? The companies, the uh, defence sector, how it is going to Okay, first of all, uh, yeah, as you really know, different sectors need a, uh, a, a position within the country to mostly to be very constructively to be in the supply chain as a company. So that is the first thing that we are we are able to achieve by acquiring a company like this, a part of a UK entity. That's one. Second thing is yes, of course, we are looking for, for the expanding our offerings from the current situation of what we are doing in Westwire to a more of an engineering solutions, to go into build to spec and then so on, where we are really can really bring the customer advantage to the customer advantage to a very, very well addressed cost and competitiveness along with a, a better solutions that we can give to taking on the turnkey projects rather than just doing what they are really currently doing. So this is the first expansion. Second thing is we are really looking for adding a, an additional facilities in West Mile where actually we are looking for more offerings in uh, manufacturing or uh, integration systems in terms of really putting certain equipment which adds the capability to the existing line of uh, West Wire to offer more to the same customers or beyond the customer. Third is, of course, we want to expand the customer base more and we have a global reach. We would like to see how UK as a base can be used for many programs across the defense and aircraft uh, industries across the globe which need not be a, an opportunity to India per se. So this is what we are really looking as a, a, a step one and then we are developing a plan for three to five years where I see an opportunity already to grow up to from the current, current situation multiplied by two to two and a half times in Westwire itself on its own. Yeah. So if I'm not wrong in understanding, this is not only a technology exchange. There's going to be manufacturing as well, both the countries, as well as exploiting the export market. Yeah, yeah. it is. Uh, it is really because uh, this is not uh, just the technology. Definitely, this is also to do with uh, the capacity and the capabilities close to the customers, and then also actually bringing in more of a uh, supply chain benefits in terms of shortened lead time, best cost and then also actually creating value 
of being participating in the engineering mm -hmm. in the before we really develop a product. So that is where it makes a lot of sense to the customers to create this because this is a product where it requires a lot of interventions and change. So it really acts as an enabler to be very close to the customer. That's clear, yeah. Great. Finally, sir, not taking much of both of your time, mm -hmm. your presence in Fanbraya Show. Happening after four years, it's beaming with people. Mm -hmm. How has been the business and most importantly, Sasmos has come here as a collaboration of all the Western groups, all the Western uh, counterparts that you have here or as an entity itself? First of all, yes, for Sasmos, this is not the first time Fanbraya. Mm -hmm. We really did it in the couple of times before, before the COVID uh, happened. Otherwise, we would have been there in the one and a half years back. Yes, <laughs> but, exactly. Uh, but <laughs> for sure, Sasmos aim is always to come over here to see that actually our uh, our offerings and our commitment to the whole uh, aerospace uh, community to ensure that actually we are we are there as a world player and a global player, not just as as in India. This is one. Yeah. And uh, coming together to your question of being together with Westwide, it's a special time for us today mm -hmm. because we are not talking only as an Indian company anymore. We are really truly coming here as a, a global first step company mm -hmm. having Westwide in our fold to, in, to communicate to our customers our commitment to bring solutions to them, close to them, like what I described before. So this was a special uh, uh, fun borough for us as an inauguration event of Westwire. And then I am sure customers do appreciate our steps to ensure that actually I think our commitment for a longer term commitment to uh, their requirements and in their own places as a geogra geographical needs is really a good momentum that we could catch up this time. And then the message has gone very well, in my opinion, but uh, yes, we, uh, the, the message is a starting point. We have to do a lot to get this. Should we? Today is just the third day. Yeah. And yeah. two more days to go. Yeah. So, do you share the same uh, feelings as uh, Chandrasekhar Mathur? Oh, absolutely, 100%. I think that uh, the, uh, the feedback from the customers at the event has been uh, very positive. Uh, they really see the value in, uh, in the, local, uh, you know, the local face. Uh, not having to, uh, you know, the communication can be simpler, the program management, the uh, finding the solution for the customer. Uh, they're really seeing value in having that local face uh, in the UK. Great. Thank you so much, gentlemen. It has been great talking to both of you and your precious time given to me. Thanks. And hope next two days again, it turns out to be really fruitful for both the companies. This collaboration should work very well. And Thank hope you. to see you again in India sometime and to you in UK next submission. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Have a nice Pleasure. day. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for this. Yeah.